Welcome back. Our TV6 is celebrating 70 years on the air this month. We signed on on May 30th, 1949. Yeah, and there is one reporter here who has been here more than half of that time. Derek Thomas joined WRTV in April of 1979, 40 years ago. He quickly became one of Channel 6's most recognizable faces and voices. Over the years, his distinctive way of signing off at the end of his stories became legendary. When I first came here, we were the news. Uh, and we all said at the end of our report, uh, Derek Thomas for the news, Channel 6. 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 I haven't said that in over 25 years. Rarely does a day go by that somebody doesn't say to me, for the news, Derek Thomas, I, they, I can have a ball cap on, I can be uh, in my running clothes, uh, my collar up. They recognize me and say, for the news. And, uh, you know, it just, and they, and they, when I first stopped doing it, Everyone would stop me and say, why'd you stop doing that? Why'd you stop doing that? And I said, uh, we have changed our out cues. Uh, we don't say that anymore. They shouldn't have done that. I said, hey, I have to uh, follow the rules. So that's what happened. That's how that happened. Derek Thomas for the news. Channel 6. That doesn't get old. Channel 6. <laughs> Derek calculates he's done about 12,000 stories in his 40 years here at Channel 6. <laughs> the very first one in 1979, a piece on an entire train station being moved in Franklin. And tonight at 11, we're taking a trip through the RTV6 archives to 1977, when the original scoring pylon was still standing at the speedway and maintenance workers had to go to some extreme lengths to keep it running. I look back in tonight on the news at 11. And all this leads up to May 30th, a week from today, when former anchors Clyde Lee and Dion Willis lead us in a one hour special at 7 p.m. 70 years together, RTV6 working for you. We do hope you're able to join us for that.